Uh, ben, moments ago, we saw Mayor Luke Bronin in front of the crowd, in the middle of the crowd, speaking with protesters. Now, he is the first mayor that I've seen since this weekend covering multiple protests over the weekend to actually come outside and talk with uh, protesters at this time. So we want to go ahead and talk with him right now. Uh, mayor, just what were you talking about with them when you were in the middle of the crowd? I was just speaking from the heart. I mean, I didn't come out here to speak. I came out here to listen. Um, but folks asked me to speak, and, and, I, and I just said what I felt, which is, you know, you, you cannot, uh, if you're not heart sick and uh, feel your stomach heave when you watch the murder of George Floyd, you're not a human being. And if you're not angry about it, you're not American. And if you think there's any community that's immune, uh, then you're, you're not being honest. And so we all have work to do. You know, we've tried in Hartford to, uh, to, to be better and to get better and uh, to build a culture in, uh, in our side, our police department that's focused on accountability and respect. Um, you know, and that's why when we had an officer who even spoke casually about the use of force, we fired him because I had no place uh, in, in our department uh, and, and, and many other examples. But that is something we need to work on every day. And it's something that we need to uh, constantly look ourselves in the mirror about. And so to me, I, I just came out because I wanted to I, I want to hear things directly. I want to hear things, you know, raw. Uh, the, the pain and the frustration, the anger is deep. It's raw. It's long standing, And um, we have to not just acknowledge it uh, and, um, you know, support those who are peacefully raising their voices and saying enough is enough, um, but, you know, continue to try to do the work of getting better, being better right here. Now, talk to me about building the relationship between minority communities and the Hartford Police Department. How, do, how are we going to go about that you know, going forward, forward from here? Well, look, our community is a minority community. Hartford is an 85 percent community of color. Um, you know, we have tried to uh, increase the diversity of our recruiting. And in the last year, we had the most diverse recruit class that the city's ever had, as far as we know. But that, too, is a, is a work in progress. Uh, so we want to continue to build a, a force that better reflects the diversity of our city. But in addition to that, make sure that we're constantly Reinforcing from, reinforcing from academy uh, to roll calls on a daily basis, the importance of uh, em embracing the community in, in a relationship of, of trust and respect. And, you know, I think that's the spirit in which uh, our, our leadership uh, tries to lead this department, and I'm grateful for that. Uh, and, and again, that's something that we, we have to reinforce and, and push and work on and ingrain uh, uh, every day. Now, the appreciation that I saw from protesters as you were coming out here and just talking with them and speaking with them, um, how important is transparency at this point in time? Transparency is very important. I mean, one of the things I said when I was, you know, speaking and in the middle of, of the crowd is say, look, I also want to acknowledge there are things said today that I don't agree with. There's much that I agree with and there's some things that I don't agree with, but we don't always have to agree on every single thing. We have to listen to one another. And if we don't listen, then there's no way we can heal or, uh, 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 or hear or get better. And, you know, going forward, like, you know, where, what are we going to uh, be hearing? Uh, I heard we're supposed to be hearing uh, from uh, our, our police chief as well, correct? I think, he's, I think the chief's already spoken. Um, and, uh, you know, I know the chief is, uh, is out here. And again, the message is, look, we, we stand with those who are horrified and angry about the murder of George Floyd. But beyond that, we stand with those who are saying that uh, this, this shouldn't happen anymore, anywhere. Uh, and, um, you know, again, I'm, I'm grateful for the, the spirit in which, uh, you know, our leadership of our department has tried uh, and is trying to make sure that uh, the culture of our department is different, that accountability uh, is, is not a word, it's, it's action. And I think that we, you know, have a record there that I'm proud of, but we, we, we can never uh, say that we've done enough. Not in this country. We can never say we've done enough. Uh, are we in the process of, ma of making any new policies uh, in, in, the, in these type of situations when it comes to police and the community? So we've actually, you know, e even prior to this, had just uh, made a change in policy where we expanded the definition of a use of force. So there's, you know, there's significant reporting on all use of force incidents. Um, we expanded the definition of the use of force to any time uh, an officer points a weapon, you know, to, uh, pull, pulls a gun, a uh, uh, deploys a taser, points a taser, even if they don't use it, that just pulling it should get that review as a use of force. And so we're, we're constantly looking for examples like that, where through policy we can uh, try to uh, protect against uh, the, the, the kind of horrific things we've seen elsewhere and to reinforce that, that culture. Uh, and uh, I also think, you know, we're, thank God we haven't, uh, uh, 
experienced, at least in my time as, as mayor, you know, what, what happened in Minneapolis and it has happened elsewhere. I also want to say we have a number of incidents where our officers have, um, even in the face of very real threats, have restrained from force. And that's something that um, is, uh, is also critically important, that, that restraint that they show. And that's, again, part of the training from academy all the way on. And, the, and my last question, the leadership that you've shown here today, uh, coming from other protests that we've seen in uh, various parts of the state over the weekend, um, what advice would you give to other leaders um, when, it come, when it comes to addressing their community? Look, I don't presume to give advice to anybody. You know, every, every, uh, I, I, to me, I always just try to be there uh, on the ground in person. Um, and uh, to me, that's just how, how I uh, hear best, listen best, learn best, and get a chance to, you know, to, uh, to build relationship.